I can't believe this is our last weekend in the apartment. I can't believe how empty it's starting to look. It's funny, this time Timmy's having more of an issue with the boxes and the moving and everything than Smuggers. Normally Smuggers is our, our meltdown king. We are only two days into March Madness, or three days, and this is day three. Half my brackets are already busted. If you want all half is busted. I had St. Mary's going to the end because I wanted a St. Mary's Gonzaga finale. Their, their rivalry, two favorite schools, like I wanted them to go, but St. Mary's lost last night to Grand Canyon, and I really, I just don't know what was up with uh, St. Mary's. We watched them play Gonzaga on and off, you know, the, like the last like year or whatever, and I, I don't know, they just didn't know how to play basketball. So, go Gonzaga! They're about to come on and play. Who are they playing? Kansas? Kansas, yeah. So that's a big game. So let's beat Kansas. I haven't really given too many updates on the game. I've been just sitting here watching it and reading. Mm. By the way, my book is getting really good. I'm like more than halfway done with Dreamland. And I still don't know how the two stories are coming together. Zach has been on a what? Like 7-0? 8-0? 7-0 run. Um, probably even a better run. Because yeah, it just seems like Kansas stopped scoring for the last like three minutes. As, which is good because... Gonzaga came out strong, and then they were, like, just not with it for a while. But now it's... I can only see Kansas' score, so it's 31, 20... 31. 31 and 26. Yeah, this, this bag is really positioned bag. Time, we did because I was at the desk last night, so we moved it over, but now it's still blocking my Gonzaga. So to tied it up before the half with a free throw, and Ben Gregg missed it. Oh, great. I miss my Timmy. That was who I just remembered all the time from last year. Remember my pen box that used to be over there? Yeah, I picked right now to start going through them because I packed up all my good pens that are normally on my desk that I normally use for like my books and my Twitter stuff. So I've been like just slowly going through them. Don't laugh at me, okay? Yeah, Byron wants to get rid of his little vest. He wants to get another one though, which I like this one, but yeah, I agree it is. Mm. Forget when he got this. I want to say uh, Georgia? Yeah, Georgia. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. My favorite Fat Farm jacket that I stole from Byron years ago that has like the big hood. I used to wear it all the time. The zipper doesn't work anymore, but I don't I don't want to throw it out. It makes me sad. So we've been a little bit gone. We did we did a good part of the kitchen. All that's really left now is like the plates. We did kind of like the Tupperware and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna have some cereal. Byron reminded me because I'm about to make myself some lunch. Byron's like, aren't we going to get um, Boba and Bon Me today because we're not going to be around these places anymore. I was like, oh yeah, Boba Lust. Gonzaga's doing good. 71.53, about 11 minutes left, so. Four minutes, and we're up by 22, I think. And then we'll be in the Sweet 16. Y'all, I feel like we're back in Florida. Like, we're back at Lowe's again for like the third weekend. I feel like that was like our staple when we were in Florida. Brian's got to push one of these around. Here's where I get some TV boxes and I think, oh, and a mattress cover. Yeah. I didn't realize these boxes already came put together. No wonder why I yeah, needed yeah, the little roller. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but why is there like five different kinds of bubble wrap? Yeah, like big bubbles, little bubbles. Then you got some white and pink down there. I think we just bought this one, but like the big one. And I just cut it up as I saw fit. But it is the same one we bought in Florida. Ah, uh, this is the song that made me a We The Kings fan. Like, it was 09, so like 15 years ago. It's crazy. Right? Byron is at his honey bear. Getting one last one, which is funny because this is actually where we were when we found out that we got the apartment that we're in now, so. But one last federal way stop at our two favorite places. Although, I'm not gonna lie, there is a bubble lust somewhat near where we're moving. These boxes keep making me think that Byron's coming around the corner. Like I keep looking, like I'm looking at my phone, I see it out of my eye and you think Byron's coming. This place is packed on this Saturday. Well, you guys remember when we were doing that mini fashion show? I was talking about that song La La by Ashley Simpson. It randomly just came on. You, make me wanna lie, lie. you guys haven't heard the new NSYNC song? I love that song. Oh my God, Paradise. I've listened to it so much. It might actually find itself on my little list at the end of the year. You know, where it's like my head above water and greatest showman. It's just such a good song. Byron texted me, apparently there is a, a little bit of a line. I got my new phone, 
do not have my new case. Kind of took a lot of the phone stuff out last weekend because we were trying to get me to use Byron's old phone, but I did not like it, so we ended up just getting me a new phone. So Byron's mom needed a phone, so she took my old phone. Byron was getting a new phone. I tried his phone. It did not work. So I ended up getting like one step up from my phone because I loved my phone. Got my background to work right. It's a little bit different than my old one. You know, my jacket kind of plays weird colors with it, but I love it. I got my I got my little new numbers back with the weather. I love that. But anyway, so Byron had texted me and said that there's a little bit of a line. So I said that I was going to eat his banh mi because it smells amazing in the car. So he sent me this little cry face right here. Oh, let's see if I can get it going. You guys see the little cry face? So I sent him back. Giddy. <laughs> I love these the photo send backs. Oh my god, the reactions. Oh my god, they're like the greatest thing that the phones ever came up with. Byron got something new. It's an orange raspberry shaken black tea with um, peach and strawberry bits. Like diced peach and diced strawberries. I got my raspberry chocolate. I can't wait. Yeah! So weird. Ready? Mm hmm. <laughs> so weird. I love that. It'd be funny if you had the wrong side up. <laughs> All right, so we're back here in our bathroom. I'm putting the stuff from our closet in here. But Byron handed me his tea, his tea tree. God, I can, I still can never say it. Tea tree mint shampoo. And he's like, look, I never noticed it. It's made with Australian tea tree oil. Ooh, and peppermint. That's how you know it works. We're working. Timmy's chewing his candy cane. No, Barnes wants to take my manatee down. This is my husband right now. There you go. There you go. Keep the manatee clean. George does not appreciate this. His name's George. <laughs> Just picked a random name on top of my head. It is chilly. And Barnes went to go get the mail, which is up there. It's right up the hill, which has always been really annoying. Got a really pretty tree right there, though. It's like a big Christmas tree. My trailblazers are playing tonight against the Nuggets. But Bible's out. He's been dealing with the angle stuff, which. I have like two chains of thought. Like I'm like, oh good, rest for Paris. Uh sucks I wanna see you play again. But then I'm also like, oh I hope nothing's really hurt because I gotta take care of that before July. What are those things? What? They're little buds. Yeah. Pick one off and eat it and see what happens. It might be a flower, but I don't think so. Oh. Well then if you eat it, it'll turn you into a flower. Right, uh... Isn't that how those things work? You can stay here, John. <laughs> no. Y'all, Byron said, let's get something different tonight because I had McDonald's for lunch when he had his bond me. And we settled on KFC. And then he brought up Popeyes. And I remember that there's no Popeyes in Shamamit. So we're getting. Yeah, I just hit page 200. I have 160 pages left. So we checked in on the Trailblazers. They're doing decent against Nuggets. We don't really have like dogs in the fights, except for I don't like Tennessee. But they're up by one with like 22 seconds left over Texas. Tennessee losing the first game. But I did have Texas, the Longhorns, winning. But I don't know if I picked them to win this game. Because I don't know who the other team that was supposed to beat Tennessee was. At the end of the day, though, it's orange and white versus orange and white. Get some other colors, guys. You have uh, Texas in this game. Right, I did have Texas. Who was I supposed to go against? Uh, St. Peter's. Right, yeah. So you want Texas to win. So, oh, well, I picked Texas to win. Yes. Over St. Peter's? Yeah. Because I think even you know. That, uh, what you call it? St. Peter's going to be that far. Don't do St. Peter's like that. That is actually weird. I don't know why you picked that. I don't know either. I always pick their religious schools first. Oh, uh, maybe someone went to Texas. I can't remember. Someone made The Longhorns? I don't... We got our Popeyes. I'm kind of regretting not getting a three piece. But they keep giving me all this big chicken, so I just got a two piece tonight. Yeah, but they also forgot our drink. So our last Popeyes. And sauces. No drink. And Byron didn't get his sauces. So, so I'm basically having Chick fil A. Frank came to visit you. Y'all, apparently Byron's seeing cats. He said that the cat was out here. He's staring in the window. There's this black cat that Smarters does not like. We are bad Sims parents. 
So I thought nothing was happening today except for Clark moving out. Mm -hmm. Yet then this popped up. Apparently Amelia just aged up wherever she is. Yeah, she's in the kitchen waiting for a cake. Eight. Eight. Why is she so upset? Aaron just said that the Nuggets won, but they won like 114 to 111. That's really good considering like we started an all rookie team for our starters. So that's, that's really good. Good for you Blazers. Our sweet little Amelia. We're sorry we forgot your birthday girl. Sometimes we gotta actually live here with someone we play with. We've never lived in these apartments. But for right now, Clark is moving in. Nice that cute little setup. Hey, you got a nice little story. I forgot my birthday, Grandpa. Yeah, we thought it was just cute. It's cute because Amelia was his favorite. We heard his weird noise, and we looked around, and apparently Nevada woke up. We haven't had graves on home lots in a while, but it made a weird noise, and now and Ghost Runner is running. alien. Oh yes. my God, come talk to her. It's weird because you can't see her feet. That's very cute. Well, we love you, Nevada. Mm. Wait, why does she have electric shocks? Or she didn't die by electricity, so no. I don't know. Is that like a horse thing? Maybe. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, relaxing ride. Oh, oh my god, it's even worse. What? Look at the shadow. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. It's like a vampire horse. That's <laughs> too much for me. When we started playing this time, we wanted to play a little bit more realistic so we don't try to get them too much money. But this family legit has $514 and she has to throw Thanksgiving today. Luckily, she makes that double food. There is a beach in the new, right behind our house. Because we saw people walking and some people were freezing. Like, this kid's freezing or adult. But like, why are people freezing? <laughs> Apparently there's a beach right here. I want a pier. Dad, I cannot believe we didn't know this. We live right here. That's why we need to explore our worlds a little bit better. Yes. Yeah, wow. Oh my god. Alright guys. Field trip on the Oh a little bridge! Oh, it's been so long since we've had Thanksgiving. We're actually just debating our rules again. What is wrong with Melody? Johnny, no. Johnny, it's a party! Yeah! Oh, Santa! That's at the kids' table. Yes. <laughs> Look at everybody in the seats! That's hilarious. These kids check out. Oh, like, hmm. I think he's got it. The mask is waving at chance. <laughs> Chance, what you doing? Good job, not stealing anything. Where are you going? <laughs> ah, you reminded me. Oh, I need to go. <laughs> Chance. Yeah, he did. <laughs> His obsession with the radio. I love stealing radio. I was like, sorry, this reminds me of my daughter's radio. I used to steal all the time. It's kind of a, kind of an inside joke between us. Well, you gotta teach Loki to be a little bit more slick than that. But yeah. All right, uh, Maeve. I gotta get my, what would it be, great son-in-law or son-in-law, great grandson-in-law. I hope everyone had a good Saturday. I hope everyone had a good weekend so far. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.